what's going on ladies and gentlemen it's your host the smoothest fingers in the gaming industry you think i forgot do you think i forgot did you think i forgot about the game that is the game that made my channel even do well in the first place the game that we're all still waiting for and that is a titanfall 3 not a cyberpunk i know cyberpunk comes out in a few days i know everybody's technically waiting on that right now i get it i understand but I want to go ahead and talk about Titanfall before I not talk about it for a while. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Again, Cyberpunk coming out. Not going to be playing this game or Apex or Titanfall. We're talking about Titanfall for a very, very long time. Because I've been waiting on Cyberpunk a lot longer than I've been waiting on Titanfall 3. Not saying that I don't want a Titanfall 3 and that I won't cover a Titanfall 3. Just don't see any reason to cover it while I'm playing Cyberpunk. Doing all the content that I want to do with Cyberpunk. And at least until we get some concrete evidence i'm kind of tired of discussing rumors leaks and all of that i'm still going to keep on the ass still going to try and make videos just not as frequently as i used to or not as frequently as i have been doing so let's talk about timefall 3 let's get right into it do i think it's still happening and do i think it's still coming out yes i absolutely think for sure the Titanfall is being developed. I think it's going to come out after Battlefield next year. I said earlier this year and I said in my 2020 video. Again, if you haven't seen these videos or you're new to the channel, link will be in the description below to check out all my Titanfall videos. At least a playlist of them. I'll try to put together one or at least the 2020 video if you're new again to the channel. But I covered this way back when I first did my first Titanfall 3 video. I said if it doesn't come out in 2020, I'd most likely expect it at the end of 2021 depending on when Battlefield comes out. That's my best guess and that's been my whole spiel the whole time. Again, if it doesn't come out in 2020, which it isn't. So we haven't gotten any rumors, we haven't gotten any news, and for everybody saying that they knew, they knew it wouldn't come out and that I was an idiot, I never said when it was coming out. I don't think I ever gave a release date or said that this is what it was happening. I'm just covering the leaks because just like you, just like a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people in the world who play video games, we're waiting on Titanfall 3. People do this with Cyberpunk. People have done this with Red Dead. People do this with all types of games. We just like to cover the leaks because we're excited for the video game. And we want to make sure that we have a voice and input in the video game. So when do I think Titanfall 3 is actually going to be released after Battlefield, I have no clue. So don't ask that question. Don't be in the comment section talking about this guy's putting a date on it. He's putting a timestamp on it. No, I'm just covering leaks. Now, there has been a lot of rumors spread around Reddit, which is what we mostly cover. How credible is Reddit? Not very credible. There's a lot of people who can say whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. Nobody gets upset at that. That's free speech, even though that really doesn't happen in our world too much anymore. You know, with, uh, you know, the elections and stuff like that, people trying to silence and, uh, you know, critique us and uh, criticize the people who just are using their free speech and using their opinion. We still have that here. We still have that somewhat uh, on YouTube, you know, even though they're trying again, they're trying to remove that. We still got it. But my whole thing about finding leaks on Reddit or finding leaks that people send me is I just like to make the videos and cover the content so that if they're true or if they're even, you know, remotely credible, we can cover them and talk about them and see how much better the game can get. Because let's be honest, I know developers read the internet. I know developers get on YouTube. I know developers go on the internet, period. They just do a lot of things. Obviously, they're researching their game, seeing what people want. But the thing about Titanfall 3 is that they're not even trying to discuss or making the game because Apex is so successful. So on this channel, I've been trying to point out the flaws of why or some improvements of why Titanfall can coexist with Apex. And the only game that they should be making right now, EA should be making right now, is Titanfall 3. I get there's going to be a Battlefield coming out. I understand that. But they've competed before, right? Titanfall came out around the same time Battlefield came out. Now, I don't want them to do that again. But I'm saying it's definitely possible knowing EA that they'll ship a Battlefield and a Titanfall game in the same year, let alone the same season, let alone the same quarter. It's possible. They've done it before. But I think for Titanfall to really excel, it should have came out early 2021, which is like April, May, June, that time frame, or maybe even March if they're done with it and they're completely ready for it to ship. We'll just have to wait and see what Respawn's cooking up and what EA is cooking up, and then we'll continue to cover it if there's any more leaks or if there's any more rumors. Moving forward... Let's just talk about the future of this channel in Titanfall 3, because that's normally what I wanted to talk about after I'm done covering the news. Again, there's not really much leaks that we haven't already talked about or discussed in the last few months, but I want to talk about what my ideas and what my thought process is for Titanfall going forward. And that simply is, until we get some more hard, concrete evidence, I'm really not going to cover it too much. Again, not because I don't want to talk about Titanfall 3, that I'm not excited for, or that I don't enjoy the game still if I was to get on it. 
it's just a principle of there's just so much other things going on right now with cyberpunk coming out still wanting to play ac valhalla and do a patient review on that as well and then wanting to go back and play destiny i said a lot after cyberpunk was done i was done playing cyberpunk which god knows when that'll be i'm gonna go play destiny see how destiny's new content is but we'll just have to wait and see see how all this plays out again it's all dependent on cyberpunk which rightfully so a lot of people on my channel are very excited for it my discord is breaking popping i don't know why i said breaking but it is popping off right now with cyberpunk news cyberpunk hype a lot of people are excited for it twitter is popping youtube is popping rightfully so right we've waited for this game for a while i know i'm talking about cyberpunk in the titanfall video but that's just what my plans are going forward again i'm really really hoping they're making a titanfall 3 all the leaks all the stuff that we've seen that we've covered on the channel makes it credible makes it it look real man and again i don't know why ea wouldn't do it i don't know why respawn wouldn't do it i understand apex is a very successful game but titanfall is better i mean if you just gave titanfall its own launch window and gave it you know its own time to blossom and supported it after release guys i would tell you for a fact you guys would have what call of duty has with call of duty except with titanfall you would have a multiplayer game a campaign game that releases every year and then you would have or not every year but every other year and then you would have a battle royale to really complement that and i guarantee it would overtake battlefield after that again just my personal preference just my ideas but also a lot of people seem to share that obviously with how well titanfall 3 does on my channel has done on a lot of other channels and just how many people want to see it done and created so moving forward man i just wanted to let you guys know that my ideas for the channel and titanfall 3 are subject to change Anything can happen between now and whenever Cyberpunk's done or whenever uh, we get an announcement for Titanfall. We don't know what's going to happen. But as far as what I want to do on this channel is I want to continue to make sure that we light a fire under Respawn's asses to make sure that they get done with this game. And not only just get done, I don't want to rush products. Take your time with it. But I want to make sure that you guys are working on it and not ignoring us for Apex or not ignoring us for Star Wars or not ignoring us for any other content or any other game that you want to make. We want Titanfall 3. We deserve a Titanfall 3. Not just because we love the game and we're supporters of your franchise. You guys have never put out a third title. You guys stopped after Modern Warfare 2, which rightfully so, if Activision screwed you over, which seems likely, or you guys have some disputes, understandable. But at least give us a Titanfall 3, guys. You guys didn't give us a Modern Warfare 3. At least you didn't create it. And God knows how good it would have been if you guys would have created it. So give us a Titanfall 3, man. We just want to see you guys complete a trilogy so that we can say, hey, Respawn Entertainment can complete a trilogy of games, make a trilogy of games that are phenomenal, outstanding, and just downright great just downright great games man and that's what we want to see we want to label you guys as the best first person shooters developers or the best gaming developers in the market or at least they'll put you in that conversation and that's what i want to see from respawn that's what i want to see from ea as well i want to see ea change the way they're viewed do i think that's going to happen probably not but at least for respawn i want to see them really hit that upper echelon from a team that started out with almost nothing after the lawsuit with activision to bounce back and to make such great games and to make games that they're making right now and to really cement their legacy with titanfall 3 it would be a blessing to see anyways ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys think in the comment section below are you tired of hearing about titanfall 3 are you excited for titanfall 3 or are you like me where we'll take this wait and see approach there's other great video games coming out right now we just need to sink our teeth into it and really love what we have right now ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in it's your boy za az bless up as always god bless got a blade runner or a ghost runner i call it blade runner ghost runner video for you guys tomorrow then a witcher 3 video right before cyberpunk and it's that time baby it's that time. I'll see you guys in the next one.